Hey everyone, so I wanted to talk to you guys today about something I've been diving really deep into lately, and that's the inner workings of how the music business works uh, these days in 2023. Um, just because I've seen a lot of things happening on Facebook, one thing I will say is that I have a huge presence considering the fact that I'm an independent person. Uh, the fact that I have almost 5,000 followers and stuff like that, and it's all built, been built organically. I haven't paid for a single person to follow me. A lot of people do that. Um, that's the one thing I don't like about social media is that it's become this perceived reality for everybody. And it's it's annoying, but it's here to stay. So one of the things that I've been really deep diving into is how to make, how to make it nowadays as an artist. And one thing I do have to say is that Musicians, we're not making money selling our music unless you're selling merch, CDs, and stuff at your shows. I mean, or you can get that one or two people to actually buy from you online. Uh, when you're an independent artist, it's just the way it is. So I, I've, I've run into a lot of people that are pulling their stuff from like Spotify and stuff and refuse to put it out there. And to me, that's like, it's like going to a gig and not giving anyone your business card for repeat business. It's just the way I see it right now. So one thing I wanted to suggest to everybody, and this might be a one-off video, it might be a series of videos I do periodically, is um, one thing I do want everyone to look into if you are starting a band, if you are in a band, if you're struggling, trying to figure out how things work, whatever. I found this book. I started, I read a lot of, well, listen to a lot of audio books when I'm uh, traveling, which is pretty much every day. Um, and I stumbled upon this on Audible but I bought the physical copy, all right? I suggest everyone pick up this book, all right? It doesn't necessarily pertain to everything you need to do. Uh, it's it's a big book. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. And it's created in a way that you can actually go in and actually find the things specifically that you're looking for by looking at the table of contents and stuff like that. But I suggest everyone go check this out. It's by a guy named Ari Herstand, um, who... I had never heard of before I purchased this book and all that. And I've been listening to his podcast. He actually has a podcast that he does with a lot of industry pros and all that. So check it out. It isn't the answer to everything. Um, although there is a lot of information in here and it gives you guidelines for what to do. And that's the thing I needed. And I think that's the thing a lot of people need, especially working in the genre I do. Um, I'm worried for the future of it. And I'm trying to figure out a way of helping secure that future. But also, I'm also realizing maybe it, it, it's not savable. I, I don't know. I, I always want to have hope. And there should be hope. Uh, it's just trying to find that right now. You know, the pandemic changed a lot of things for a lot of people. And a lot of people didn't evolve. And a lot of things are starting to show when it comes to that. So... Anyway, this is just my opinion, all right? But yeah, go check out this book, How to Make It in the New Music Business. And this is the third edition. It just came out. It was um, uh, rewritten in 2022, so it's pretty, pretty relevant to today. All right, so go check it out. Ari Herstand, um, I'll actually, like on Instagram, I'll probably actually tag him in this. So, all right, guys.